hi guys very good morning uh, if you are going to or uh, going for ups interview this is very important for you all right or any state pcs interview why the government job versus protesting candidate why this happen first the thought of the people is that capitalist people are enemy of them self enemy of them all right enemy of them means protesting candidates their uh, means you can call them parents or uh, their community okay the same thing is the second thing right like there is a thought that it's responsibility okay responsibility of government to buy their crops i am not talking about only just uh, bihar up or uh, something else this is the case even telangana right you might have heard the last year that the, uh, that the uh, it was issue of para boiled rice okay i will tell you in the separate uh, video what is what is all about this para boiled rice okay and the concept which is important uh, which might come you know upsc exams right so there are two thoughts capitalist people are enemy of them right and it is responsibility of government to buy their crops they do not uh, the biggest make a mistake of them is that they do not know a capitalist man okay who has 10000 dollars right he can only give job to the 10 people right a poor person with 100 dollars right he can't give to anyone job right they can't be able to give anyone job so if you look at the scenario of the uh, states like uh, bengal uh, bihar okay uh, eastern up central up i am not talking about the western up okay or rajasthan here the people thought that the capitalist people are enemy of them big corporates are actually enemy okay just like i'm giving the simple thought just like the airtel airtel and jio yes they are taking the money okay but can they provide a uh, free of cost internet services officially not they will charge right why because they have to run their company they have to feed their employees right but many uh, people in india think that the jio airtel and this all uh, reliance tata everything is enemy of our so that thought is the dangerous when that thought over uh, fix in your mind what you will do that's why there is no any corporates company in bihar okay understand when you do not have any capitalist people okay who provide you jobs what you will do you are just dependent on government right and government is also a company they also have to run okay they can't get every time money from the budget of india they have to generate own revenue right understand they have to generate their own okay if they hire if the government hire bad people okay bad candidate who are protesting and doing something these the indisciplined people how will the railway will run any company will run just any government company will run no how will they generate money they can't be able to generate money because if they hire overloading people if the government has government company has requirement of 10 people right and they hire 20 people how will they run definitely not but the protesting candidate what are they they think that the rich people are a uh, capitalist people are bad for them enemy for them even i met many people okay many candidates say that hey, airtel and 
Jio, Reliance, Tata, Ambani, these are not good people. They are in MM. How can you say they are providing you the jobs? Right, Ambani is right. Do you know Ambani is Tata? Okay, these all give 1 billion jobs directly and directly in India. Okay, if you look at the analysis correctly. Okay, so my thought is simple thing. Capitalist is the only way to give the jobs. Okay, capitalist will only provide a job to you. Okay, a rich person only provide job to the poor people. A poor people can't provide job to the poor people. Okay, that's the rule of capitalism, right? There is nothing wrong about cap. Second thing is socialism. Socialism is uh, also good, not bad, but is it possible that you hire from every community irrespective of their uh, skills right how will you generate the revenue to run the company it is impossible right so socialism is not always good okay because if you if your company do not grow then you are out of the market you are out of the technology you know why the us is so great because that's the trader country People here love capitalist okay that's why it is growing but in India people thought it different capitalist people are our enemy it is government responsibility to buy our crops right it is government responsibility to give jobs this is so sad uh, three agricultural crops it was very good okay but the mindset of what the people was how oh, the big corporate are enemies they are big corporating are uh, look at the Bangalore right what the Karnataka government done they established different tech park right all over India is coming how uh, Telugu, Kanadias, the Tamils, Rajasthani Gujarati, Bihari, everybody is coming. Bengal, everybody is coming. Okay, that's why it is growing. Okay, because they same they think if the a lot of company will come here in the Bangalore, our economy, as well as the people lifestyle, everything will be good, right? But if you look at the different part of India, eastern part of India, the scenario is totally bad just opposite right why the Gujarati the most developed because they are loving people okay they think a capitalist produce a 10 job the conclusion is simple yeah. it 80% capitalism 20% socialism this is good for any private company as well as the government company okay take care guys bye bye thank you like share and subscribe you can join my premium uh, classes also thank you